Here is a question asked in gate 2007. Consider a machine with a byte addressable main memory of 2 power 16 bytes. Assume that a direct mapped cache consisting of 32 lines of 64 bytes each is used in the system. A 50 by 50 two dimensional array of bytes is stored in the main memory starting from memory location 1100H. Assume that the data cache is initially empty. The complete array is accessed twice. Assume that the contents of the data cache do not change in between the two access. How many data misses will occur in total? This is the question. How many misses will occur? And they have given some numbers. The question is very big, but when you solve it, it is actually simple. Let's do this. First, let's write the given data. Here they have given main memory size is 2 power 16. Then they said number of lines is 32 lines. So number of lines is 32 that is 2 power 5 so 5 bits for cache index then they said 64 bytes each that means the block size is 64 bytes which is 2 power 6 therefore 6 bits per block offset then they said array is 50 by 50 so 50 by 50 means 2500 bytes and then they have given a memory location this is the location from where we started copying the data and that address location is double one double zero h represents that it's in hexadecimal all right now for convenience let me also draw the diagram so they have given a 32 line cache therefore i have drawn a diagram with 32 lines starting from 0 ending with 31 okay now let's decode this particular address one means 0, 0, 0, 0001 again another one 0, 0, 0, 0001 then 0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. so this is hexadecimal two binary conversion this is the address 16 bit address right now let's partition this to understand where exactly this line is so block offset is 6 so 6 bits this is the block offset then cache index is 5 bits so 1 2 3 4 5 this is the cache index now when we convert this to decimal this is actually 4 1 double zero is 4 so it means that in the cache the data starts from this particular location so here is the location where the first array will be so a0 will be here now it is not one byte it's actually 64 byte block therefore a0 till a63 64 array elements will be placed in line 4 then from 64 to 127 and so on that's how the data will be stored into the cache now for convenience instead of going element to element let me go block to block for that let me understand how many blocks will be there with respect to the array array blocks will be we have 2500 bytes and each block can hold 64 bytes therefore this is 39.06 so roughly 40 array blocks are there but look at the capacity we have only 32 lines so obviously some blocks has to be replaced so let me list out so the block one will be here then block two block three four so on here it will be block 26 27 28 then 29 will be here then 30 31 32 then what will happen so basically this will be replaced with 33 then 34 so on so on so i think probably over here this will be the block 40. Now, here they mentioned the array is accessed twice. Therefore, after block 40, then it will be again block 1. It is not there. So, again, this will be replaced. Then block 2, this will be block 8. But block 9 is already there. So, this is a hit, 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 hit. Till here, all are hits. Then again, block 33 is not there. So, this will be 33 then 34 b40 i hope you are able to make out how this is working on now let's calculate the misses we need to calculate how many misses so miss will be miss in first axis plus miss in second axis now when we have searched for the when the first axis happened none of the blocks were there so from block 1 to block 40 all were miss then for the second attempt b1 to b8 were not there but b9 till b32 the data was there and b33 to 40 they are not there so b33 to 
B40 again these are missing. So this is 40 and this is 8 and this is 8. So when we add this will be 56. Therefore the answer is option C. And there is a continuation for this. Let us do that as well. Which of the following lines of the data cache will be replaced by the new blocks in accessing the array for the second time. So for this let me take the previous diagram. From the diagram we can clearly see the data replacement is only happening between line 4 to line 11 that is option A.